came about 22 years ago and it was actually a pilot project to begin with through Queen's University um, and the CEO who was the founding CEO, Kate Ingram, who I took over from last year, um, basically then set it up as an organisation and a company and it's been working based in the Crescent for that 22 years as well. Um, running weekly classes and special projects with the aim of including disabled people in the arts. The Lord Mayor of Belfast, he came to see us in a performance in June last year and from that I had a sudden email just to say that he was inviting us to take part in this event. So didn't really know what it was about until closer to the time and uh, so we decided the project we wanted to pitch for was Luminous Soul because we had um, good funding for a lot of years and then that, that ended. So we were looking for a means to develop um, some, some more. So um, yeah, it was the Lord Mayor got us involved. We applied through the Community Foundation NI. Um, it was all accepted and then that was it. We were there pitching on the night. It was very nerve wracking beforehand. I think both Katie and I were incredibly nervous. But actually, once we got into the room and we felt the kind of, there was a genuine positive energy coming out of everyone who was in the room and it felt really supportive. And, in, and at times, it was actually emotional listening to other people's pitches. Um, it was amazing to meet the people who were, who were given the money, but also the other charities that were involved. And we've made like a really strong link now with Angel Eyes, um, which is going to hopefully continue now for a long time. So if we're, we're just going to have a sense of contact, I'm just going to almost... I did performing arts when I was 18, many years ago, and dance, singing and drama, and I've always been doing that, and I studied at an RNC, and when I came back there was nothing here suitable, especially for dance. It was people who you had to go on audition, or it was very small studios, and 99% of the time you didn't get a chance. So when this came up, I was so delighted. Um, Lumina Soul and the Legacy Trust funded us, and it was a four-year project. And we had various companies that came from England, Kanduka, Blue Eyed Soul, and various um, freelance dancers and then in the meantime we had Pony Dance, Maiden Voyage, Sheena Kelly and we danced with people of all different disabilities. Full arm circle back, okay. Full arm circle. Well it makes me happy, you know, I love performing, I've always performed from a very young age and from having sight and losing it, it's something that makes me happy you know, forget about, you know, something that you have day to day and other people can do the same. We have a waiting list for each of our classes at the minute, so obviously it's definitely necessary. And I think it's just about, um, you know, giving the voice to disabled people um, and there's still a lot of work to be done on that. In the pipeline, all well-being, we're going to hopefully be dancing with Maiden Voyage, but that's not for a wee while. We are um, making a piece at the minute, and we're going to be dancing at City Dance, and then in June there's going to be a gambling event where we dance to actual live music, and then in August there'll be a, a week residential. So you're getting really energy, friction, really, really fast, really fast. Well, I think that idea of individual and crowd giving is going to be incredibly important. You know, we're all kind of the public funding streams that we've been used to are dwindling. Um, there's uncertainty over so many different streams of funding. Um, so I think it's a really positive way um, for people to get funded. And I think it's a really positive thing as well for those people who give money to us on that night. I think that's a really positive thing for them. So uh, I hope that it continues and it grows in Northern Ireland. Well, I would love it to continue, which is the plan, and actually get out there and perform. Visit our website, uh, which is openartsni.org, or you can call the office on 902407655.
I think it's very important that uh, people with any disability, you know, when they go out to the big world, somebody sees them, they say, no, you cannot do that. You can't. Just might be a different way. And you actually show them you can actually do it and actually surprise them.